this really? lovely lady yeah. decided to post on X um, where you should never take a woman on a first date. Her, here's what she said. Here's the lovely lady. She's got a little fur coat. She's trying to show off the round bottom. Here is a list of she's places women- list. Oh, she's in a bathroom, <laughs> Debbie Murphy points out. As it, yeah, this is inappropriate. This is how I look in my bathroom. I wear my fur coat <laughs> in my hat. Here is a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on a first date. And thank you to the ladies who reached out to me to help me on my list. I'm not going to do it all, but here's some examples. Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, The Movies, Your House, that one I get, any fast food chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's, The Gym. Maybe I will read them all. Church, Starbucks, <laughs> coffee dates. What's her coffee? Ice cream dates, family functions, movie night, uh, like Netflix, Hulu, et cetera. Somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, nightclubs, hookah bar, a bar just for drinks. You cannot meet this woman if you want to just take her out at a bar just for drinks. Waffle House sports events. And to this, I say, you go for high maintenance on date one. You live with high maintenance the rest of your life. Good luck to you, Correct. fellas. Matt Welsh Correct. is back with us. Your thoughts on that, sir? What do you think? Did, did she nail it? As uh, as the great Iowa Hawk on Twitter points out, there's nothing more fun than to watch a generation that can't get a date uh, sit around <laughs> try to create rules about the imaginary people <laughs> want to have them out on them. <laughs> I don't know what a date is, thank God, and I don't know what uh, which direction you're supposed to swipe, but uh, it just sounds like a, a nightmare world right now of uh, all kinds of rules. <laughs> I I remember back in the uh, in the prehistoric era when people like me were single um, that uh, one thing we we would meet people and talk to them in in a real place and that's how the thing would happen <laughs> like for coffee um, it wouldn't be like or drinks no, which she has you barred or like a, a good old hookah you know up. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hookah. <laughs> hookah, hookah, hookah bar. I don't know this one. I was, can I be honest that I was maybe leaving the Upper East Side Buffalo Wild Wings on our way to church. <laughs> we were going to go to church and pray. And I was just going to pray that something good was going to happen after we left church. But, you know, that's just me. I don't want to push that. anyone. This, by the way, is a list that is so baffling to about, you know, 90 percent of the people I know. And I, I know that says a lot about my friends. I don't think I'd ever considered about taking a date on to Chipotle. Which is, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, look, I know if you get like the the queso, your might score. Who know? I don't know what happens these days, but I usually just go to bars and we get drunk and we argue about Israel and Palestine. And yeah, then I go home by myself. Yeah, it's super hot. <laughs> Any girls out there, you see the video, you can send me a message. The one I, I do agree with the wings one because no one looks hot eating wings, right? It's like no. all over your hands. It's all over your mouth. I just like, that's not no. sexy, but I yes. don't know. Like, well, since when can you not go to a bar just for drinks? I mean, that's what that's more than anything is what tells me she's high maintenance, Camille, because she wants a dinner. She wants to make sure you spend. Yeah, I, I met I met my wife when she was 15 and I was 16. We started dating when Whoa. I was 17. And she was 16. <laughs> I don't understand how any of these things work. We got married. I took her to all those places and <laughs> multiple times. I've taken her to all those places <laughs> and it turned Still. out fine. I don't know what this young lady wants. You have to be for something, sweetheart. I, yeah. I don't think she actually, if that's a real picture, she probably doesn't have much trouble getting a date. Yeah. Um, but yeah, keeping a man around, right. like the reason they won't stay boo-boo is because mm -hmm. of you. It is. Yeah, that's so exactly work right. work on yourself. Introspection. <laughs> you're, Introspection. You're, heard it. you're welcome. You're welcome. Little, little wisdom <laughs> from the fifth column. I want to tell you about my new sponsor, C60 Power. C60 Power says it can help to increase energy and mental clarity by neutralizing oxidative stress and the toxic free radicals that contribute to aging. If you have not heard of Carbon 60 before, it's also known as C60, which C60 Power says is a powerful, naturally occurring, Nobel Prize winning antioxidant that works at the cellular level. Now, not all producers of C60 are created equal. It's very important to go for high quality, 99.99% pure C60 and do not accept any cheap knockoffs. Many people who consume just a teaspoon a day of C60 power as part of their morning routine note an increase in energy and mental clarity within 30 days of daily use. If you feel like you're slowing down, could benefit from more energy and mental clarity 
and you're ready to kick brain fog to the curb, you can visit shopc60.com and use the code MEGAN10 for 10% off your first order. That's shopc60.com promo code MEGAN10 or just click the link in the description or shopc60.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.